Now let's discuss about the stationary waves produced in a string fixed at both ends. Suppose we have a string, we have a string of length L fixed at both the ends that is A and B. Let's say some point P and P dash. P and P dash. The string is fixed between the points P and P dash. Let L be the length of the string. L is the total length of the string. So what will happen if you apply a force or if you pluck the string and then release? Definitely the string will vibrate. So we are concentrating first on the first harmonic or first mode of vibration. First mode of vibration. first mode of vibration. In the first mode of vibration, we have, let's say, there is no node between n equal to n equal to 0. So that is no node between the two fixed points. That is the vibration will be like this. I'm just making an easy method to find the fundamental mode. So if you follow this one, this and, and considering the nodes, it will be easy to understand this. That is, there is no node inside the fixed point means the vibration will be like this. So this is the fundamental mode or first mode of vibration. And this region, you have minimum at the ends, there is minimum amplitude, that is no displacement, you can put that as node. So the ends, at the ends it will be node. The maximum displacement is at the center and that will be the anti-node. Anti-node. This also is anti-node but only you need, you need only, you need to represent only once. So it will be convenient. Now for any wave, if you consider any wave, this is, this is a wave of total length will be lambda. Wavelength is lambda. This is the node. This is the anti node. This again is the node. This one is the anti node. This is the node. So, what is the if you divide the wave into four equal parts, you will find that the distance between a node and anti node is lambda. We have divided it, to, it into four parts. So, lambda by four. So always keep in mind that the distance between a node or anti node and node will be lambda by 4. Clear. If you take that case in here, I'm just erasing this. Just keep in this keep in mind this principle. Okay. So here you have the distance between anti node, node and anti node, we have lambda by 4. For the first mode, let's, let's write lambda 1. So this length will be lambda 1 by 4. This also will be lambda 1 by 4 because we, we know the distance between node and anti node is lambda 1 by 4. Clear. So the total, this actually is length. This whole length, the total, the distance between these two fixed points will be the length of the string. Therefore, length is equal to lambda 1 by 4 plus lambda 1 by 4. That is equal to lambda 1 divided by 2. Implies wavelength lambda is equal to writing the wavelength in terms of length, which will be 2L. Call that as equation number 1. Now we have frequency is equal to velocity of the wave in the string divided by lambda. Here we have we are we have the first mode, so let's write first f1 lambda as lambda 1. Clear. But you know velocity is equal to let's write as that v now v divided by lambda. We can later write the later write the expression for v. Lambda 1 is equal to 2l. 
so this is the first mode of vibration or the first frequency or fundamental note we have f1 is equal to v by 2l this is the frequency of the first mode of vibration or we say fundamental fundamental note fundamental note or first harmonic first harmonic clear now you know v equal to for any string the velocity of a wave in a string will be tension divided by mu mu is the mass per unit length so if you substitute that in here v equal to root of t by mu divided by 2l or you can write f1 is equal to 1 by 2l times t by mu where t is the tension so this is the first harmonic now let's discuss the second mode of vibration let's write the second mode of vibration for second mode of vibration second mode of vibration second mode of vibration let's consider these two fixed points I already say, said for second mode number of nodes will be 1 number of nodes between the fixed points is equal to 1 suppose if it is fourth mode fourth mode then the number of modes between the fixed points will be 3 always 1 less than the nth mode clear that is for the nth mode and mode number of number of will be n minus one always keep in this one so it is easy to easy to remember clear so for the second mode it is a number of nodes between the fixed points is one so how will you draw that it will be like this clear like this that is between these two fixed points only one node exists at the ends there are nodes no doubt about that but between the fixed points only one node clearly this is anti node this again is anti node now we can take we know the whole length will be l and we know the distance between a node and an anti node will be lambda by 4 for the second mode let's take lambda 2 divided by 4 so this also is lambda lambda 2 divided by 4 one more lambda here also lambda 2 divided by 4 here also lambda 2 divided by 4 which means we have the total length l is equal to how many lambda 2 by 4 there are 4 lambda 2 by 4 so 4 into lambda 2 divided by 4 which is equal to lambda 2 so l equal to lambda 2 so the frequency of the second mode of vibration will be you know the formula velocity divided by wavelength that is v divided by l lambda 2 is equal to l or you can write this as 2 into v divided by 2l that is equal to since these two, this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled it will become v by l that is 2 into v is actually we have root of t by mu divided by 2l or implies f2 will be 2 times 1 by 2L root of T by mu. Clear. What, what is this actually? This is the fundamental note, right? So F2 can also be written as 2F1. 
clear. So that's the this is the main expression f2 is equal to v by l and you have the relationship between the second mode and the first mode as f2 equal to 2 l clear now let's discuss about the third mode of vibration now let's discuss about the third mode of vibration that is third third mode of vibration that is between these two fixed points or fixed ends number of modes will be i already said if it is third mode and three minus one that is two nodes between these two fixed points so how will you draw that it will be just like this clear that is this this is a node this again is a node and the ends it will be node clear clearly this one is an anti node this also is an anti node also this one also is an anti node and you know the total length will be l the length of the string and we already discussed the distance between node and anti node will be lambda by 4 since it is the third mode we have a different wavelength so lambda 3 divided by 4 then how many and lambda 3 by 4 will be here 1 that is 1 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 clear so the total length will be l is equal to 6 into lambda 3 divided by 4 see this is also lambda by 4 this is lambda by 4 this is again lambda by 4 that is 6 there is 6 lambda by 4 okay so l equal to you can write this as 3 lambda 3 divided by 2 or lambda 3 will be 2 l by 3 clear so the frequency of the third mode of vibration will be v divided by lambda 3 or you can write this as v divided by 2l by 3 implies that is equal to it is equal to 3 into you can take this 3 to the numerator 3 divided by 3 into v by 2 also We have F3 equal to 3 into V is equal to root of T by mu divided by 2L. That is equal to F3 is equal to 3 into 1 by 2L root of T by mu. But you know this is equal to the fundamental node. So F3 equal to 3 F1. Clear. So, what you get from this is all the modes of the vibration is a multiple of that is nat whole number sorry natural number multiple of the fundamental node. Clear. That is if you take the ratio F1 is to F2 is to F3 etc like this you have F1 let's write that as f1 but 2f f2 is actually 2f1 and f3 equal to 3f1 etc so the ratio will be you can cancel all this f2 f1 so 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to etc that is ratio will be the natural numbers clear 